très concrètement pour qu'ils soient là. Est-ce qu'ils prennent des minéraux Comment vous les payez Est-ce que vous, vous êtes en train de vendre une portion du territoire C'est quoi le deal Si c'était ça le deal, de quitter vraiment un maître pour un autre, on préfère mourir. Parce que quand on dit la patrie ou la mort, ça a tout son sens. Non, ce n'est que du, du média mensonge encore. Welcome, welcome again to another episode of the WSX and Podcast Aware. Our United Africa is an undisputed Africa. So, President Abraham Theory of Burkina Faso gave an interview, a 35 minute interview in his home, um, to one of his, um, to this reporter. But he made a lot of points, but this, what stood out to me in my mind, one of, one of his stood out points was when he re debunked what the President of Ghana had said that the Wagner Group was in. Burkina Faso and Burkina Faso gave them a mine as payment to help them fight and they was on the border of Ghana. And don't take my word for it, this was when President, um, Secretary of State Blinken was in Ghana and he was, they signed, they signed an MOU and a memorandum of understanding to, to do some military training together with Ghana, with the Ghana president. And um, listen to what he said, this, this puppet, Nana Akufa said, about Burkina Faso, and then we talk about it after. Boom. Yesterday, I had a, an extremely, I was part of an extremely useful meeting with the people from the Congress to come and talk about security matters. I believe that the, Madam, you were there, you were part of the meeting. And um, its significance for us, and I think that beyond everything, that is a matter that I want to urge upon you. Today, Russian mercenaries are on our northern border. Burkina Faso has now entered into an arrangement uh, to go along with Mali in employing the Wagner forces there. I believe a mine in southern Burkina has been allocated to them as a form of payment for their services. Prime Minister of Burkina Faso in the last 10 days has been in Moscow And to have them operating on our northern border is particularly distressing for us in Ghana. Apart from not uh, uh, accepting the idea of great powers uh, once again making Africa the theater of operation, we have a particular position that you know about over the Ukraine war. So there is a hear out of his own mouth what he said about Burkina Faso. So not what I'm saying or what I'm thinking. He said this. But where, where did he get this information from? Let's make sure where he gets this information from. Listen to what um, Secretary of State Blinken said on the world stage when he was when they had the the Africa US summit in the in the in the States. This is what he said. Listen. We've heard repeated concerns uh, that Wagner and uh, groups that are linked to it. Uh, manufacture or exploit insecurity. Uh, they threaten stability. They undermine good governance. Uh, they rob countries of mineral wealth. Uh, they violate human rights. And we've heard that and seen that again and again. If you go back to 2017, uh, Wagner forces have deployed to the Central African Republic. They've deployed to Mozambique, to Mali, uh, to Libya. And at the same time, we've seen disinformation campaigns that are furthering the exploitative goals that Wagner and its founder have quite literally across the continent of Africa. Our partners in Africa tell us that they do not want their resources exploited. They don't want the human rights of their people abused. So, there is he. He's the one that put out this information, this misinformation, this propaganda that the Russian group, Wagner, or the Russian soldiers is, is all over Africa fighting in with these African countries and specifically Burkina Faso, Mali, Niger, Chad, Guinea. This is what he was saying. They were all of Africa fighting, but it couldn't be further from the truth. This is what this is how they spread propaganda. They say a narrative, then the 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 media, the American media, who is bought and paid for, spin this narrative and and um play it over and over in the in, in the minds of people. Uh, if it's a, if it's a lie long enough it becomes true. So this is where Nana Akufa gets his information from. 
he did not go to Burkina Faso or try to have diplomatic channels to ask so if this is true or not. He take he took what the Americans said about his own countrymen. He take it, swallow it, and regurgitate it. What he did. But anyway, listen to what Nana. Sorry, my bad. Listen to what Abraham Theory said out of his own mouth about the same situation about the mine and the payment for Burkina Faso given to the Russians to fight and if they are actually fighting against them with them on the battlefield. Take a listen. Plus très concrètement pour qu'ils soient là. Est-ce qu'ils prennent des minéraux? Comment vous les payez? Est-ce que vous vous êtes en train de vendre une portion du territoire? C'est quoi le deal? Si c'était ça le deal de quitter vraiment un maître pour un autre, on préfère mourir. Parce que quand on dit la patrie ou la mort, ça a tout son sens. Non, ce n'est que du, du média mensonge encore. Et malheureusement, on avait même vu des chefs d'État qui sont tombés dedans, qui sont allés raconter du mensonge, soit disant qu'on a donné des mines à des Russes, à notre partie sud, archi faux. Il n'y a rien de donné aux, aux Russes. Archi faux. Même pas une mine. Pourquoi donner mm. Si les Russes veulent une mine, on a le code minier. Ils viennent s'intégrer dedans. On leur donne le permis, ils payent les impôts et ils font tout ce qu'ils doivent faire comme les autres. Mais avec quoi vous payez alors les Russes Ils ne viennent pas pour vos beaux yeux. Ah oui, avec quoi on les paye D'abord, les Russes sont arrivés quand au Burkina, c'est la dernière fois que des instructeurs sont venus parce qu'ils doivent venir instruire. Les, 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 les militaires sur des équipements. Mmh. Et c'est avec tous les pays d'ailleurs. Ce n'est pas les Russes seulement. Mmh. Quand on signe un contrat pour acquérir un équipement, on signe le contrat avec la formation. Il y a plein de Turcs ici. Pourquoi ils n'en parlent pas Qui, eux, sont spécialisés dans les drones plutôt On a payé des drones avec la Turquie avec un contrat d'assistance. Il y a plus d'un an. Tous les temps que nous sommes là, il y a des Turcs qui sont là. Mmh. Pourquoi on n'en parle pas ils sont là, ils nous appuient. Ils ont formé nos, équi nos équipages en Turquie. Ils viennent ici, ils les assistent. Et ils continuent de les former dans le pilotage, la maintenance et tout. Et on a le contrat sur un temps donné. Lorsque nos hommes seront bien drillés, ils vont partir. Les Chinois, ils sont là. Les équipements qu'on paye de la Chine, ils sont là aussi. Pour former à, à la manipulation donc, de ces équipements-là. C'est ça la réalité. Mais donc, sur le terrain, ils sont contrat. sur le terrain ou pas, les Russes sur le terrain pour combattre mmh. Non. Il n'y a aucun Russe sur le terrain pour combattre. C'est des choses développées, en fait, dans la tête des gens. Mais s'il y a besoin, ils viendront sur le terrain combattre. Ça, je peux vous assurer. Mmh. S'il y a le besoin... Vous ne vous l'interdisez pas Non. Mmh. Y Sauf y a que le pour l'instant, ils ne sont pas sur le terrain. Non, pour l'instant, on se bat seul. Mmh. Ils, nous, ils nous appuient en termes de formation sur la logistique, formation tactique et tout. Ils nous appuient sur ce volet. Alors, j'avais euh, posé la question. So there you see, Abraham Chory said it himself. There was no such thing um, as they giving a mine to in the in the southern part of Burkina Faso to the Russians. What he said is these are lies, as what I was saying was perpetrated by the media, and the fact that Nana Akufa didn't even try to find this out instead of regurgitating what he heard. Now this is what Abraham Turi is saying. It's not only Russians is in Burkina Faso. He did not say that they are not there. Egyptians are there. Iranians are there. So why is it there only? And he said that a few more countries. But why are they only focusing on the Russians? Why? Because he said that he bought weapons from Russia. So that means when they buy weapons from a country, they send their um, people to come and train. The, the, the whoever bought the weapons to use them, to fix them, to maintain them, and the logistics. The Egyptians are there. The, Ir the Iranians are there. Who else is there? I don't remember now. But anyway, so these, all these people are there because why? Because he bought weapons from them. And why did he have to buy weapons from the, from the Egy Egyptians, the Russians, and the and Iranians? Because even though they were friends or they have collaborative military um joint military with the americans and the russians and the russians sorry the french they did not sell them any weapons and the weapons that they do sell them is non-lethal weapons listen to carefully non-lethal weapons that means you cannot harm an next person while the insurgents groups are fully armed 
So what are they supposed to do? Stand up as he said and throw rocks at them? French put this in all their colonial um countries that they that they, they overseas. In their constitution, they cannot buy weapons from no other country but France, and France only sell them all weaponry, things they don't use anymore. They don't use them in modern, it's always the old revolutionary revolution weapons they sell them. And it's a fact. So, any country that was colonized by, by um, French, they put it in the constitution because, uh, don't forget, African, most African countries' constitution was not written by them. It was written by who was, who was enslaved them and then they put it. So they put provision in it to protect themselves from these countries if they rise up. So now because these Sahel countries broke free from the French, I'm so like literally break away, kick them out. Now they can actually buy weapons from other countries. And now they're getting in new modern technology, logistics, weaponry. So what? They have to be trained. So the Russians send their people to train them, just like the Egyptians, the Iranians. So what? They are training them and as President Abraham Theory said, which I'm, I will I'll believe what he said because he's one of the presidents on the continent. That's 100% for his people because he could assassinate him four times already. So anyway, we're going to get into the assassination attempts. Let's get back into this. So what he's saying, they are helping his army to use the weapons, to maintain the weapons, fix the weapons and to use them effectively. That's all they do for they're not on the ground fighting with the army, as he said. They are only there for support on the weapon side. He's not and at least as he said, he's not he's not saying that will never happen. He said for now, they're only there and um and uh non um not on a non fighting Regime, it's not a regime. It's like they're not, they're only there for supporting when it comes down to the weapons they bought. Same as the Egyptians and the Iranians. So, you could you could you imagine that they have been fighting terrorists for the past ten years with the French, and they the the, the terrorist group or the insurgents group keep having keep gaining ground. Till I think they had forty percent of Burkina Faso taken away from the government. Why? Because they, they don't have weapons to fight them. The French have satellites. All kind of modern technology. They can, they can find a tick and a cow. A million miles away. You can see you cannot find these insurgents. So now since the French left, Burkina Faso already take over or take back majority of the territories that the insurgents are taking from them. They, 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 ret they retook it because they, what, they have new weapons. They have tanks. Now they have um, Helicopters and here they said they, they don't sell them no farmer air um anything flying, no helicopters, no planes. So now they get they get these from the Russians and the Iranians. Now of course they're gonna use them. So now they can push back the insurgents. This is what this is what is happening. They are gaining major ground on this feature. The Nanaku of Ghana told a blatant lie about Burkina Faso. So this will show you the puppet he is. And I cannot stand presidents like these do that. Rather go against their own people to appease the colonizer. Do us what to get some money. Try to enrich in themselves. That's all this is about enriching themselves. And um don't they don't care much for their citizens to to elevate and to make the country grow, military wise as well, because they can only take what they give you. You cannot buy nothing from no one else. So yeah. Big ups to Burkina Faso and to Abraham Theory, one of the rising, not one of the, he's the rising star when it comes down to his people. He loves his people, he's transparent. His citizens back him 100%. And um, he's, he's making great strides in the command to fixing his country. And not Mali and Niger is following close behind. So. That's a good look. So anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Like, comment, share, subscribe. I don't know how that works. Boom.